So do I really expect anybody to follow me on this? No. But I was told that the best thing for me is start a journal. <clears throat> I don't know about you. For me, writing isn't the easiest thing in the world. Spelling's atrocious. My memory is horrible. So welcome to my life. Um, I guess this is my way of journaling. I have conversion disorder. Um, it's kind of a funny way for saying that stress and anxiety to me is poisonous. And it comes out in physical forms. My CD, I have seizures. Um, at times, I get paralyzed from the waist down. I can suffer with stuttering. Fear memory issues. Then... I find out that I might have Dissociative Identity Disorder. Multiple Personality Disorder. Me. 30 some years old. How does somebody who's in their 30s more than one person living in their head and not know that's kind of where I'm at right now I'm at the very beginning um, still trying to wrap my head around it I go into therapy <clears throat> bonus and my therapist is the one that actually thinks that I have DID, Disassociation Identity Disorder, Multiple Personality Disorder. And I started looking into it and it kind of makes sense. I have severe trauma from when I was a kid and horrible horrible memory problems to the point that it affects my everyday life <clears throat> I hide stuff from myself all the time I don't mean to I just do the other day I uh, I hid my husband's car keys. I have no recollection of actually doing it. We lost these keys for like a month. Sorry, honey. I brought my husband's keys inside, put them on the table, and walked away. I thought I walked away. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. At least I don't remember picking up the keys and hiding them in the winter jacket pocket that I hadn't worn in months. And it wasn't until like a month later my husband was helping me wash clothes and we just happened to wash that one jacket and lo and behold, there's his car keys. Surprise! I hid them on myself. And now with finding out that I might have a multiple personality thing, could it have been another personality that I have that came out to hide my keys for me? It seems so... Ridiculous. I'm far-fetched. 
and yet I did it. Another instance, um, my girls and I, we were getting ready to go sunbathe outside. And I had got my swimsuit and put it in the bathroom. And I laid my swimsuit on the bathroom counter. <clears throat> and uh, I was the only one standing there in my swimsuit. And uh, my girls came in the bathroom, and they're getting ready, and we're chit-chatting and everything else like that. And I turn around, and I'm looking for my swimsuit bottom. I can't find it anywhere. It's to the point that I had to get help to find my swimsuit bottom. Uh, just, where did it go? I just had it. And I'm sitting there thinking I'm crazy. Like, did I misplace it? I, I thought I put it on the bathroom counter. My daughter comes in and goes, Mama, that's strange. I thought I saw you put it on the bathroom counter. Okay, so I'm not the only one that thought I put it there. Well, an hour passes. We finally find my swimsuit bottom in the cabinet drawer. In the bathroom. Apparently I hid it for myself. Again. It's just that quick. Is this how it works? Is, is this what multiple personality disorder is like? I don't know. I started doing this therapy, EMDS, uh, with my therapist to help remember some of my childhood memories. The ones that I have blocked. Um, I didn't know my childhood was as messed up as it actually was. My childhood is really, really messed up. Um, one of my not so messed up memories concerning shoes, <laughs> a white shoe. Um, I remember I had these white shoes on. My, my mom was in a hurry and she was trying to get out the door really fast and she couldn't find my shoes. So I was really little. So she ended up putting these shoes that were too tight for my feet. I tried telling everybody they were too tight. Nobody would listen to me. Well, we had to walk a really far distance and, um, my feet started hurting. And afterwards, my mom, she listened and she took my shoes off and I had a blister on my heel. My mom told me she was sorry and kissed my heel and gave me a band-aid and threw out the shoes. That was the first memory I ever had of my childhood. Imagine living your life and not having any childhood memories. And that's the very first one I get. I'll sit back. The ones that came after that was bad. <laughs> I remember after my dad got divorced from my mom, I was little, um, my dad took me to babysitter's house and um, go on Gracie, What? go. Sorry, it's my daughter. <laughs> I'm a mom. But anyways, my dad took me to a baby's... Oh, give me a minute. Something just came out of my mouth. It's metal. Okay, go. It's in front of my throwing pillow. All right, I'll take care of it in a minute, sweetheart. Thank you. My mom. <laughs> anyways. Uh, my, uh, dad took me to a babysitter's house. And, um, I remember watching a movie. And I know now that the movie I was watching was a porno. But 
back then I was so little, I didn't know. And I remember watching this movie and wondering to myself why all the women looked like they were hurting by what the men were doing to them. And why when they, why the men, when the men took out their junk and squirted stuff all over their boobies, the women looked like they felt better. I'll finish this later.